Hello, it's Charles Lehman. I'm an artist and a musician and an instrument maker. And today we're going to be making some instruments, scrap instruments, um, from things like bits of cardboard tube, which you might need to get someone to cut, or uh, plastic tubs from plastic containers, and tins and buckets. Okay, so let's start with this plastic tub. In fact, probably this plastic tub may well have a, a sound of its own already, and you can always use these these um, uh, sounds in your finished uh, work. We're going to put them all together. Uh, but for today, I'm going to be using some of this uh, cling film. It's from a cooking uh, sort of uh, shop, and I'm going to put it over here. Now, I'm going to put it round quite a lot, and I'm going to try and get it tight. If you've got enough of this to spare, it's a very good thing to be able to do, because you get an amazing sound. And of course, the important thing is the tightness of it. Oops, it's not very strong, so sometimes you have to tease it. Right, get the idea. I'm making a skin over this drum. Now that's sort of there. I'm going to put another one. Um, I'm going to use some scissors. So I'm going to put a plastic band over that for the moment, see how we are. Ooh, interesting. Now, you need, you need drumsticks, so here's some chopsticks. And you need to get a piece of tape. And wrap it round, because sometimes I've got a bit of a sharp end. Wrap round a piece of tape. Now, I don't know if this drum is finished yet, because it doesn't feel strong enough, so uh, let's put another couple of these on. And it sticks to itself if you put it on to itself. Right. Obviously the tighter the better. Right, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put another elastic band around it. Oops. Right, so. Where's the one? Ah, oh, we've got to make this one first. So, I've got two. One there. Let's try doing this one. So you want to build up your collection of instruments, you see, so then you can put them all together to make a sound. I think that's a good sound. I'm going to put that obviously together with this one. So I've got two sounds now. For our main drums, okay? Now you see it's taking not very long, but obviously you can spend a little bit more time and um, decorate them. So I could give you some ideas about that as well. So those two are joined together for the moment. Oh! <laughs> but I don't want to join together.
as I do they put them like that. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like now. Now, I quite like to have something else with it as well. That's good and quite good. Um, I think I might try another drum with this. I mean, luckily enough, I've got, I've got this this, um, this cling film that they use in the kitchens. Sometimes they have them at the school kitchen. Well, oops. See, I'm not. Ah. All right, well, perhaps I won't do that one. It needs a bit of time to do it. Uh, another one, another idea for a drum is a piece of tube. Now, I said you need maybe someone to help you cut them, but a piece of tube. And a balloon. Oh, this is <laughs> now that's the bit of balloon that you don't want, but I quite like it. Because I was mucking about with that so much, I've broken the balloon. I'm gonna have to get another balloon. Not our day to day. Anyway, here's a balloon. It's because I was blowing around. <laughs> So there you are, that's on there. Ooh, like that sound, like that sound. That's a balloon around a cardboard tube, okay? So can that join our instruments over here? We've made four drums now. Oh, it's gonna be the biggest drum, drumming thing that I have known. And uh, if we're clever, we've got, I might have another tube. We can make another one, and then you kind of make the stand, you see. No, that's not the one. Here it is. So, remember what we did? We had the tube and the funny bit of balloon. I've just got to quickly make this. Right. Woohoo! Stretch this one, it's also red. And it's also broken again. Alright, maybe they're old balloons. Sorry about this. So, remember what we did. Gently does it. Because I got that one on, I don't want it to come off. I need a bit of tape on this one. Of course I've... 
Right, so remember, we put this elastic band round. Where can I put it to make it have another leg? Yes, it'll go here. Well, I'll go put it next to the other one. If we can put it round a bit, then it'll be like a little table. just got a few more ideas, just one little idea, the, the other bits of tube that I have here. You see, you have lots of diff different lengths, and you have a piece of card, and you go... So that's that one. So you can remember. Right, so um, that's basically it for today. I think I might show you a few ways. I've, I've got another little one here and some more here. And I can't be I can't be um, without another one. This is one of the drums I made. And then you see you can bring the tins along as well. Get your tins in, and you can have a big jam. This is an awful lot of stuff, but um, sometimes you can even use buckets and stuff like that. I'm not sure if these buckets are going to be oh, sound all right. I'll put them around the place. Right. So, as I was say, you could also use knitting needles. Thank you.